Okay, I'm Rikard Friberg, and this is from uh, chapter six in my micro book. We're going to be showing how we can add demand curves. This could be demand for different individuals, or it could be demand for different market segments, or demand from different countries. And in principle, it's a simple idea. We're thinking at a given price, how much is demanded in total from participants in this market? Uh, sorry. Well, simple. Uh, there's a small thing that one needs to keep track of, and that's, you know, that uh, not all consumers are buying at all, all prices. So to show this in a simple way, uh, look at the simplest possible case where there are only two consumers. Okay, so assume that uh, demand for, from these two consumers is given by, um, there's one consumer we call H as demand, Q H equals 10 minus P, and one that we call L has demand five minus P. Okay, so first step we do is to um, uh, draw the inverse or to yeah draw the inverse demand functions and to draw them, we need to calculate them. So express, uh, instead of expressing demand as a function of price, we express price as a function of uh, quantities. Okay, so the inverse demand we're going to be drawing these. Okay, so just shift P over and QH over. So we have P equals 10 minus QH and P equals five minus QL. Um, let's uh, draw those. Like that. So we have Price on the vertical axis, we have QL, QH, and then capital Q to denote um, aggregate quantities uh, on the horizontal axis. Okay. So drawing this is for person L and for that person, and then we have and from H. dh, dl, like that. We have an intercept of five here, and we have an intercept of 10 here. Okay, so if we're interested in the market demand, the aggregate demand, the demand of these two together. So it's clear that if price is above five, um, person L here will not be demanding at all. Price is too high for that person. So if price is above five, but below 10, the aggregate market demand will be given by the demand from uh, person uh, H. So demand, if price is above five, given by 10 minus P, if P is above five. Okay, if price is at or below five, however, we will have demand from both persons. So then we have, this is equal to QH plus QL, which is equal to 10 minus P plus 5 minus P, which is equal to 15 minus 2P. Okay. So if we want, and let's be clear, if P less than or equal to 5. So if we want to draw this, can rewrite again here just to clarify. So 15 minus 2p, if we want to draw this, we again want to look at the inverse demand function. So shifting over p and solving for p leads us to 15 over 2 minus q over 2, okay? So 15 over 2 is 7.5. So that would give uh, the intercept for this line, but though at first here, it's actually not capturing demand. It's just reflecting what, you know, just giving us the intercept to give us the right slope for the aggregate demand function that we will have when both uh, individuals are, are in, in the market, okay? So we say the red line here will illustrate the market demand. So the key point is that if there's, you know, uh, as we 
price is lowered and additional consumers come into play, then the uh, aggregate demand curve, uh, the market demand curve is flatter than the individual's uh, demand curves. Uh, okay, so this is just, this is how we do it. <laughs>